Hey guys and girls, this is Gordon Overkill with episode number 4 in our current dungeon crawl stone soup run with the yellow draconian fire elementalist of Vehumet. Ah, wait a second, I have to take a sip from the bottle. In the last episode, our hero successfully cleared the whole uh, lair. At the same time, I don't think we got a lot of amazing stuff, didn't we? No, no, we don't. We, we are still pretty much the same as we were before, but we increased our skills, we got a bit stronger, and I think we decided for the next episode to go to Orcs. So, let's go back up into the dungeon. We've got enough free slots here, yeah, here we have. So, let's get out of here, and check down level 10. Oh, fuck, there is a hill giant, which is directly a pretty tough opponent. But I'm pretty sure he cannot see invisible. No, he cannot. So let's abuse that. Good. <laughs> Set him on fire. Set him on fire too. Poison him. Set him on fire again. That works fine. And there he dies. Perfect. We are starving, which is not so cool, but we can. Uh, I don't want to eat that snake. Yeah. Can we kill this guy? Not so easy. Um, maybe we can try something. Yes, it's bad. Ha! Perfect. That's pretty strong. As it seems. Okay, successful. First room. I will eat a meat ration though. Wait till we're not contaminated anymore and continue. Okay, mount. Directly the next tough fight. Looks extremely dangerous. He's got a legendary sword. Well, okay. Can he see invisible? He cannot. Okay, perfect. I think invisibility is super duper strong, especially in the early parts of the game. Maud has got a demon trident, as it seems. Luckily, oh fuck, okay, that's what happens when he hits us. I hope we won't do that too often. Oh fuck, ah, I see we're not invisible anymore, not so good. Retreat. So, regenerate. Not contaminated anymore. Let's go invisible and go down. Set him on fire. Is some, has he got some kind of fire resistance? No. Anyways, I want to kill the orc first. Mod is almost dead. Mod is slightly injured and does a ton of damage. Holy cow! I don't think we have any. Oh, wait a second. That explains why our damage is rather low. We were unarmed. Wait, what did I just do? Did I equip a... Yeah, we were armed with a, a ration. That kind of sucks. <laughs> okay, that, that makes the whole thing a lot easier. Let's now just burn him up. Ignite poison. <laughs> nice. There he goes. Demon Trident of Flaming and a shiny plate armor. I'm sad that we cannot use any of these. We are already too trained in short plates. Mm, 13 was the. Yeah, yeah. How did I. Why did I unequip the weapon? I can hardly believe that that was intentional. Anyways, we bet a couple of very strong opponents. That's a good sign that we were able to do so. Mm. Great sword. 
can do a bit of damage. Oh, double sword, isn't that? No, it's also a great sword. They all have great swords. You have the undead great sword gang or something like that. I'm sort of freezing. Uh, I'd love to find some more enemies that we can eat, like this guy. That's dangerous. Invisibility. Oh fuck. Let's quickly eat a fruit. No, it's set in the flame. Good. Ha! That that ends our food problems for the moment. These giants have a lot of meat. Together, this is going very well. Um, I'd like to bump them a bit so we get rid of the mages quickly. Got What's that book of beasts. Summon butterflies, call can I familiar? Mana Viper and Summon Butterflies are probably the most interesting spells in there. And yet another giant. But also this guy goes down. And that's spell for Savatar. And I'd really love to learn that, but we don't have enough points at the moment, so we directly swap away from this and away from that, and everything on spell casting, and I hope that we will get it in time. Exploding mm -hmm. Tomahawks? Nope. Not that much action on this level. Should be almost done. And now with the weapon, this guy is also a lot easier to kill. Down to level 11. Let's go. What book was that? Book of Unlife. Uh, bees. Can they see invisible? No. That's good. I think they are also very vulnerable to poison, so we can just tap through them here. Can he see invisible? I think he can. But I am wrong, he cannot. Good. Surprise. He definitely can. And an edible enemy at the right time. Good. Get the monkey before it can scream. Good. Burn down the tree. Why not? Oh, okay, it's still burning. It's called cool. monkey left in a room with trees. Maybe it just uh, spend its time climbing on the trees, living a happy monkey life until that. Hero of goodness enters his room and just slaughters him without warning.
fireball. Take that. I'll burn your tree. <laughs> and I'll burn yourself. Yeah, that's something that I sometimes uh, I don't get. Uh, I don't get over it uh, that uh, heroes and roguelikes are such brutal guys. <laughs> the actual bad guys. We didn't find orc yet, but we know. So it must be on this level. Hmm, can check that later. Okay, it's cool. Um, let's check if we can run spare for Sota now. No, not yet. Can they see invisible? Nope. Nope. Can we learn it now? Probably not. No. Oh, that's pretty easy enemies so far, but there must be the entrance to Orc somewhere down here. That looks pretty orcish. Can we hit them back there? Yeah, we can. Good. Priest it doesn't go down though. Oh, fuck. Can we reach him from here? Most important thing, kill the priest as quickly as you can. Now go invisible. Should have done that earlier. And that means we can pretty much tap through them. Good. That's also the main reason why I'm not, a, not at all afraid of orcs. Dagger of draining is maybe not a bad weapon for orcs. Dagger of freezing, I'll also pick that up. Check out these daggers. Plus two dagger of draining. Plus three dagger of freezing. I think that's a good weapon. Uh, okay, that's safe. Have we got scrolls of enchant armor? Uh, enchant weapon. Uh, we've got one scroll in the lair. Don't think we need that yet. But we have got, what I just saw, we have got a scroll of acquirement. And that's something we're definitely gonna gonna read now. Um, for what? We have got a pretty decent weapon, so maybe we don't need uh, something there. <sighs> armor or jewelry? I go for armor. And it's a shield. Let's check that out. Shield of Reflection. I think that's pretty cool. But we are not yet good enough to use it, so let's stay with the other shield. 
Wait a second, by the way, can we learn the Savitar? Not yet, not yet. We still have the same level as we were before. I think the short sword is still better because it's better enchanted, but we might swap to the dagger at one point. But first, let's enter Orcs. I think back in this version, no, 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 it's already the two level Orcs. That's cool. Um. Yeah, we need more intelligence. Maybe I can also put a call point on dexterity every now and again. Uh, okay. Uh, go invisible. There are two priests. It can be dangerous. Two priests far away. They can smite us several times in a row. Oh, and there goes the there goes the spellforged avatar. Conjure ball lightning. I don't want that. Oh, that's so sad. Well, I just increase spell power to six and then uh, go on with shields, I guess. Uh, first, get invisible. Maybe first, um, I'll continue. Ah, that's so sad. I should maybe have used the scroll of amnesia to forget something we already knew. Could have been better in hindsight. So we messed out on a really good spell. Missed out, I mean. <laughs> okay. Go for the priest quickly. Kill the ogre. Kill this guy. That looks pretty fine. And let's get in here. Arena time. That should not be too hard. Can we fly? Yes. Evoke flight. Beat the hell out of this guy. You think you are safe over there on your the other side of the river, but you absolutely were not. You so were not. And on the other side. But I wait till we're not flying anymore. So I can make sure that we don't run out of flying time where we where we need it. Flight. Do we miscast? Wow. Three percent chance. Flight and invisibility, I can't see anything going wrong here. Okay, that's already two decks of cards and, and an artifact Falcon. Uh, I want to check how good it, the, the Falcon is. Oh god, why are we overburdened? What are we carrying? Let's check out this ring quickly. Instead of the ring of wizardry. It's a plus six ring of strength. Nice, but not for this character. Check out this weapon. Plus twelve. Slice, resist electricity, resist magic, strength plus three. This is probably the best scimitar I ever saw in this game. We can cross train long blades. How much do we need? <coughs> 14 is not too much. Hmm. Really tempter, but I won't. Ah, uh, I won't. Can I 
and six more levels. No, 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 no. I won't right now. Maybe, maybe later. Is there anything else we want to drop? I don't know. Um, we have got a bit of stuff to identify. I think. Identify the potion mutation. Identify that potion beneficial mutation. Wow, it's got that. Feet thicken and deform. You have got large cloven feet. Does that mean we cannot wear boots anymore? No. I'm not sure why that should be good. Well, it's maybe additional attacks if we don't wear boots or anything like that. Potion of cancellation. Not bad either. But I dropped the potion of mutation. Where is it? Never ever gonna use that. Pick up the deck of cards. We don't want to become a follower of Drog. And let's continue here. We have to drop some stuff soon. Maybe I'll put the books on the on the on the on the up staircase. Yeah, I dropped the books here and the cards. Anything else? Mm, maybe not right now. Maybe later. Drop that. Any potions, rings, wands. Yeah, I can drop the wand of flame and the wand of lightning, the wand of paralysis, and the scroll of recharging. Amnesia. Book of Beasts. Drop that off. Not the hat. I'm not sure why I always drop the set. Uh, maybe. Do you know the the Dragonlance books? Fitzburn the mage who always loses his hat. Maybe our character is some type of a similar guy. Them. Yeah. At the moment, it seems to me that we won't get too much trouble in here. That's what he said a second before he died. Well, at least that's how it should be. Still considering to try out the scimitar. There is the entrance to elves. Just want to check which staircase this is. Okay, there was a hidden one. Nothing in it. Wow. Probably the chamber where they celebrate parties, but at the moment there is no party. The orc teenagers celebrate there. Wild and uh, joyful teenager parties in that room. Wait a second. Ah, we're using the Falcon. Does it do a lot of damage? Right? It's not bad. Anyways, not right now. Back to the short sword, which is a lot better trained. What do we have here? A glaive. But that's not our kind of weapon. Neither is... Oh, an artifact broad axe. I love broad axe. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, the good thing about that... Uh, okay, let's check out that dagger too. Um, it's... Uh, Plus one dagger of training, we can directly drop that. Mm, I think I'm gonna drop both daggers of training. I just keep the freezing one. Mm. But I forgot what I wanted to say. Okay, fuck. 
invisibility that should save the day. Good. Suddenly there were three priests right next to us and I just tapped into them. Nothing can happen. I'm absolutely invincible and vulnerable. Okay, that's another good spot to go invincible in, in invisible which practically means invincible in this location but well. I don't want to contemplate it anymore, just to make sure. Okay, yeah. That, now we can get invisible. The wizards can still see us. Mm. Mm. Do we want to dig a kill hole? Is that necessary? I'm not sure. Maybe not. Just have to kill them quickly. Good. Kill this guy, and then we should be safe. Yeah, yeah. Nice. We are visible now. How many mages are still around? Just two. Let's kill the first one quickly. Oh, there comes another big guy. I think let's play that safe at least a bit. Oh. Now ah, it's a bit tougher to do that with ones of digging than it is with a. Oh! <laughs> with ones of disintegration, but it works like that. If nobody comes from behind, it should be fine. And at least there's no risk that we get caught in here. Always got the chance to escape to the to the side through the side tunnels. I think this was a, we can now get poison arrow. Fire's a magical arrow coated with the most vile and noxious toxin. Even those resistant to poison will be poisoned by it. And creatures that are immune to poison will still take damage from the physical component of the spell. Hmm. <sighs> Rather not, I think. Rather not. We've got a spectator. Who's that? Anti. Hi, Anti. <laughs> now he goes. Maybe realize that uh, that we saw him. <laughs> No, I'm caught. I'm caught. Never been here. <laughs> so this looks very much like the the main part of the level. Oh, okay, retreat. Sure, get home. Stop that. Get drained a bit. Can fire? Can you see invisible? He can not, which is very good. That gives us a realistic chance to beat him. And there he goes. Perfect. The ignite poison trick is really not bad, I think. Come here if you want. Casting level 8 is absolutely enough. Um, I'll put a bit on shields at least. I would love, have loved to learn this before Savata. So bad that that didn't work. 
have to quickly kill the high priest. Okay, there it goes. Good. I was a bit afraid of the high priest. And now he can smite. His demons are strong and everything. So I poisoned him, and whenever he got poisoned, I directly ignited the poison. Oh wow, he cannot wear anything in this shop. We do not need anything in that shop. There's one shop missing. Let's hope that this one offers something of use. Enchanted dagger. No, I just pick it up. Let's check it out. Plus four dagger. I might keep that in case we find a scroll of brand weapon. This is the highly most highly enchanted dagger we found so far. Let's go to the altar of... Okay, this guy... Okay, we used the dagger. That was stupid. I make a couple of mistakes with the weapons in this episode. So let's go here and pray, because we are a worshipper of Veomet. We'll continue. Mm, get invisible. Slaughter the next family. Here's the, the last shop. Once again, absolutely uninteresting. So sadly, the orc shops didn't give us anything that really helps. But anyways, we saw that we were pretty strong. Actually, orcs can be quite tricky at times. But for this character, easy peasy. I think we're done. Yep. So, let's go back to the lab. Sort out our inventory. I drop the dagger of freezing. I drop the... Oh, no, I keep the long sword. If we need electricity resistance, we can swap to that quickly. I think that's very, very handy to have. Ah, yeah. Mm. I think I will directly swap to that shield though and drop the small shield. Because we are already pretty good at shields, almost level 9. Hmm. What about the wands? Paralysis, I don't think we need that asset. Nope. I keep one wand of lightning and both wands of digging, that's everything. Is that potions? <laughs> I dropped the potion of flight for the moment. We can fly whenever we need to. Keep all the scrolls. Oh, I forgot the spell box. Before orcs. Anyways, I think all in all, this can be called a successful episode. Successful clearing of orcs. In the next episode, we will dive down to the bottom of the dungeon and maybe already start our first rune lair. So guys, cross your fingers. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope to, I hope to see you all again next time. Until then, bye everybody.